economics, finance, politics. This is Bloomberg Surveillance. I'm Francine Lacqua here in London. Now, no fee stock trade can exact a high price can exact a high price, not only for the retail traders sitting on losses from speculation on stocks or for Robin Hood, which faces scrutiny for gamifying the frenzy that spun out of control. The stock market more widely, of course, has to deal with the volatility this democratization brings. So what's the future of zero free trading after the wild ride we've seen in the past 10 days? Now, for more, I'm delighted to be joined this morning by Victor Nabahar. He is CMO and co-founder of Free Trade. Free Trade is a UK-based financial technology company which has an app that actually offers commission-free investing and stock trading. Victor, thank you so much for joining Joining us today. First of all, given what we've seen, which frankly was wild in the markets in the last 10 days, could you replicate that in Europe or are there are also just different rules on what retail investors can buy? Well, um, you can certainly replicate that. Uh, so basically what happened, uh, users of, of, of the online discussion board Reddit banded together and uh, bought um, certain stocks that, that are sometimes called meme stocks in the media. That can certainly happen in Europe as well. Uh, there, there are a high number of, uh, of brokerage, uh, um, commission-free brokerage users at this point. We ourselves at Free Trade have over 500,000 uh, registered users. And uh, the, 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 global, the, the financial system is fairly connected globally. Um, so it can, it can certainly be replicated. How much more trading interest have you had from retail investors in the last 10 days? Is there a, a direct correlation to what we've seen with GameStop, with people wanting to trade on free trade? Yeah, that definitely we've seen insane demand. And uh, for context, we've been growing uh, rapidly uh, since last year. We added uh, 40,000 registered users in December, and in January we added um, something like 166,000. So we've seen uh, really high demand. And what we are experiencing these days is that these customers uh, stay around and they invest in other uh, stocks as well. So the way we look at this GameStop phenomenon is that it's fundamentally good. Uh, first of all, we, we believe in the fundamental right of retail uh, investors to make an educated decision in what they invest in and uh, and act on that decision. And uh, we don't see that as, as a mindless mob. We, we see it, see it more, more as a mo movement, honestly. And, uh, and we think this movement is fundamentally good uh, because when, when you look at, yeah. look at the stock markets over a long enough timeline, uh, that, that, that's a really good way to, uh, to increase your wealth. Uh, so a lot so, of people got switched on to investing. So, Victor, how you know how much bigger do you expect this to be? If you look at you know some of the things free and accessible to all, is is this market going to double in size, triple in size, and and what are the some of you know maybe the pitfalls that you worry about? Yes, uh, so it can multiply in size. What we already see this year that uh, fifty percent, over fifty percent of our customers never invested before. They they invested uh, with free trade. That's their first time. So we basically we are growing the market uh, already, and we don't see why this market would not multiply and investing could become part of the part of the cultural conversation. Uh, something that you do just as normally as you have a current account or you get a mortgage to get on the property ladder. Similarly, we see the, the, the market of investing uh, uh, to, to, um, uh, to, to increase. And in terms of pitfalls uh, that you asked, we, we certainly saw that the, that the plumbing of the financial markets is not necessarily ready to take a, a rapid, unexpected increase in customers. So that's definitely something that uh, something to look uh, look into. We as a company definitely did our, our best to uh, keep systems running. It was challenging, but we managed to manage to um, survive with, with only two uh, outages. Uh, Victor, do you worry that people will take undue risk because looking at GameStop, they think that they can money, they can make money so quickly that uh, this is kind of the central expectations that they can replicate GameStop, where actually because it's been done once, it'll be much more difficult to replicate. Definitely. Uh, running a retail brokerage, uh, th that's something that has to be on your mind all the time. Uh, the risk uh, uh, customers 
may or may not undertake. And, and the best approach we as a platform, because we are agnostic in terms of what people buy, but the best approach we can take is educating our customers. So um, half of our uh, team basically went into uh, crisis mode and started to send out messages about, uh, about the potential uh, uh, increased risk uh, these uh, stocks represent. And it's very important uh, that people understand that uh, quick gains, they are not natural, they are not guaranteed uh, far from. And uh, the best way to look at investing is uh, um, a sustained long period of time, developing a healthy habit of investing every month, uh, pound cost averaging. That's, that's what we educate our customers about. Victor, thanks so much for joining us. Victor Nebaho there, the CMO and co-founder at Free Trade. Now coming up.